So you're going to start with two dog bowls. You're going to start with two something. So you're going to have one on either side of you. And what we're going to do at first, you're going to sit with your legs crossed. We're just going to get the dogs to be going back and forth between one of these lids and the other. Um, and then we're going to develop it from there. So I don't think I've ever done this with um, this girl. Um, but I'm just going to start with... So I'm just going to put a treat down and let her get it. When she makes a move to go to the other side, I'm going to put it over there. She's done this, but it's been quite a few years since we've done this. She's offering me a, a play bow, and I'm just ignoring it. You're not going to be saying anything to your dog um, for this game. They have to figure out how to get the puzzle right to get the reward. So when they're going nicely from one side to another, then we're going to add our P and U. Okay? Yeah. Cool. I'm using a um, jump station because all the P and U's are out the field. So I'm going to try to get it tucked in nice and tight to my feet. And then we're going to continue on our way to having the dog go back and forth, but now they're going around this. Bye. Okay. So I'm just waiting her out. I guess it needs, it's better to have a treat in each hand. So she's going back and forth nicely. Good. I'm waiting for her, yeah. I'm waiting for her to pass by this, um, your PNU, before I start uh, set the treat out. But because she's going back and forth nicely, I'm gonna start moving the P and U away from me. So the only correct answer is the dog to go from one side around this to the other side. We're not correcting them, we're not saying anything. Ideally, our mouths are shut the whole time. So, okay, bye. If she makes it an incorrect choice and goes between me and the stanchion, I'm just not going to reward her. Good girl. She's doing well, so I moved it out further. Good. Okay, so there was an incorrect choice. Yes, good decision. Good girl. Yes. Okay, I am talking there, but what I'm trying to do is mark when she's correct, but I'm not helping her when she's incorrect. Good girl. Good. You're as quiet and as still as possible. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to make it harder. Good girl. Hold on, hold on. I'm out of goodies. <laughs> Hold on. Good girl. Do you see how she's making that decision to go all the way out to go around the stanchion? Good girl. I'm going to slate it some more. This is hard. Good. Good. Good girl. Nicely done, Minnie. Come in. Good girl. So, got a treat over here somewhere. I guess not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reload and I'm going to work with Ava. I don't believe I've ever done this with her, so we will see how it goes. going to start at the beginning. I'm going to put this off to the side. Cross my legs. Ava! As soon as she, yes, there you go. If she's stuck on one or the other, there you go. As soon as she makes an effort, I'm going to reward on the other um, top. Yes. 
We're just trying to get her used to going back and forth. I was late. waiting for her to initiate an effort, and then the reward comes out. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to get the stanchion here. Sorry, buddy. I expect to have it to be a little bit rough because Moving it out. The smaller your dog, the quicker this becomes a big challenge. She gets nothing. Good decision. I'm not moving, I'm not helping her. Yes, good girl. Good decision. See her thinking now? Thinking, oh, I need to go around this thing before I get the reward. Good girl. So I think she's ready for a little bit more distance. Good girl. She gets nothing. Good. This is always along the lines of making a thinking dog where you don't have to babysit them as much. Good girl. Big challenge for her. She's not even seeing it. There you go. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Now, she hasn't done this game, but she has worked with PNUs. So I think that also benefits. So we'll see how she does with this challenge. I'm still, I'm not giving her any cues. Yeah, you just stole a treat, Stinker. Think about it. So she's mugging my hand. She's not gonna get anything for that. I think the stanchion is far enough away where she's not thinking about it. What are you going to do? So what I'm going to do, instead of let her um, make all the wrong choices, I'm going to bring it back in. So she went around it right then, so I'm going to take advantage of it. not what we were doing. So this is also an example of her arousal level or even frustration level. Good girl getting the better of her. Good girl. Good. So she's kind of um, gotten back to a thinking spot. So now I'm going to make the challenge um, right at the same level she had when she started losing her brain. Good girl. I don't mind making it easy for the dog, but you don't stay there. You go back to where it was a challenge. Good girl. Good. Nice. 
nicely done. Good girl. Good girl, Miss Ava. All right, so I'm just going to end right there. Um, our whole goal with this game, and it's called Vito's Game, our goal with this is to help improve their independence to going around the PNU without you being there. So it's just in addition to what we've been doing with the PNU, but we just need a way to help them realize that you can go over there and um, circle that thing without an issue. 